Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Cocktails from the Plane. Um, today, the stricter lockdown is finally over here in Italy. I managed to take a stroll down the street without feeling like I'm an outlaw or something, or the police chasing you. But um, we're here to fulfill one of my friend's requests for a cocktail. So we're gonna make an old-fashioned, a proper old-fashioned, um, and it's three of us today. There's traditional Miss Kitty, and I just got a new one, the Geisha version from Japan, from my good friend Marco Briolo, when people could still travel, not just Amazon packages. But anyway, um, let's go back to the cocktail. It's a rye or bourbon uh, based um, cocktail. It's old fashioned because it's really old, probably it's one of the oldest cocktails out there. And it's actually very easy uh, to make. Um, some people would use simple syrup, cringe. I don't like it with simple syrup. I like it with sugar. And the reason is why I like it with sugar is because while you drink it, the sugar continues melting and the old-fashioned changes the taste while you sip it. So if you use simple sugar, you're gonna have a solid taste from the beginning to the end of the cocktail. The only difference would be the dilution from the ice. But anyway, cut into the chase. Uh, sugar lump, I don't have sugar lump, so it's gonna be like this much of sugar, pretty much like a sugar lump. Peters. I'm using a mixture of two dashes of Angostura and two dashes of the peach oat, but uh, traditionally the recipe uses uh, two dashes of an orange base uh, bitter and two dashes of Angostura, but uh, it's up to you, you can mix. So, so and so this, and then use your model, and with the modeler you just Give it a decent muddler. Um, some people at this point would just add like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of water to uh, continue with melting the, the sugar. I don't like that either. And so I'm skipping that passage. And huge lump twice. Finally, the booze. It's keeping us safe. Uh, and Eloisa asked me to say what we're listening to. So we were listening to Goldberg Variations and now I think it's Chopin Nocturne or something. So, about two ounces of rye. You can use bourbon. I don't think the original recipe says rye. Uh, rye. And I'm in a good mood, so I'm gonna Add a little bit more. Very, very gentle stir. You don't want to dissolve all the sugar at once. And as for decoration, orange peel, squeeze to the rim the way you know how to do it. And optional cherry. I'm gonna add one, and here you have the old-fashioned. Cheers! Enjoy this, Luca. This is new. Ah, uh, I'm already feeling old. Guys, see you tomorrow. Good news: Ruth might be considering coming back. She needs some more days of break from the booze, and I understand that because you know. Good things in life are either illegal, immoral, or they make you fat. And alcohol is definitely one moment on your lips, a lifetime on your hips. So, you know, pace yourselves. Ciao from Andrea and two Miss Kitties. Don't fight. See you tomorrow. Stay safe, stay boosted.